I spent over $1,000 on untested consoles from Goodwill, and in this video, we're gonna test, explore, and fix about 10 of them, and see if we can turn a profit. Guys, welcome to The Hampton Hall. Now I'm saving up for this limited edition Xbox 360, so my profit goal today is $250. But let's go ahead and start with this fat PS3, which is uh, basically mutilated, very dirty. And then flip into the back, our model number is CECHG01, which is not backwards compatible. But let's plug it in and see if it works. Now hold on a second, I don't know how I missed this, but the entire corner of the PS3 is warped. So uh, not a great sign. All right, got this bad boy plugged in, turned on, got life, no games inside. Oh no. So here it is guys, turn it on. And immediately we get the yellow light of death, not surprising. And basically what I'm doing with these really broken consoles is putting them to the side and saving them for an episode at the very end of the series of the Hampton Hall. But let's go ahead and um, move on to the next console. So next up we'll test out an Xbox 360 Slim. Yeah, warranty seal intact. Let's go ahead and see if we have a hard drive here. I hope so. Yes, 250 gigs. Let's plug it in and see what it does. All right, plugged in, turned on, we got life. Do we have a free game? Yes, Black Ops 2, dude. Got some scratches, but not too bad. Black Ops 2, that's like a $10, $15 game. Now let's see if the console works. <laughs> Wait, do these profiles, <laughs> first one, oh, of course the game. Auto boots, oh, I can't stand auto booting. All right, come on, take me back to the main screen. All right, so first up here we got Chase. <laughs> Next up is Chase's Blonde, without an E. JC, King Hartwell, Spooky Sugar 9703, Stud, my man. And we got Woeful Parchment 5, creative. And actually, there's a, there's a mix of all people with fairly solid gamer scores. Let's start with uh, King Hartwell right here, China Sun Survivor. I've no idea what that means. Oh, he's got the background. The live jazz background, nice. No bio, let's check out the last time this guy played. Oh, I was about to say, wait, no way. This was played six months ago, or no, that's eight months ago at this point, but no wonder Black Ops 2 was left in here. This guy, oh, wait, this is, this is hilarious. So he was playing Halo 4 a lot back in 2020, you know, during the pandemic. And then I guess, <laughs> I guess eight months ago, he decided to boot this up and he's like, yeah, let me give COD, <laughs> let me give COD Black Ops 2 a go and then got rid of his console because he didn't like it anymore. I don't know, that's that's actually pretty funny to see. And this thing's got play history all the way back to 2013, so 2013 to 2023, impressive there. But uh, let's check out, we got any games here? Oh dude, we got full games here. We got Advanced Warfare, Batman Arkham Asylum, Batman Arkham City, Halo Waypoint, oh dude. Skate 3 and Tomb Raider? I should have known this guy was a Skate 3 player. I just You could just tell by the hair. Let's boot up Skate 3 and see what's going on there. Oh yeah, he's dressed up in his hoodie and, and slacks and looks pretty, oh crap, looks pretty, <laughs> it looks pretty similar to his, his profile pic there. Let's check out the skater he's got. He's got Chase, Ke Kieron, I'll say that, GX1000 and DDDR on his, uh, the banquet skateboards, nice. But dude, I, I love reading out people's skate profiles and just checking out their avatars here. Dude, this console just went from pretty good to legendary without the games on here, even the, the Batman games, oh. Those are so good. Now we gotta check out these other profiles as well. Spooky Sugar was the next one with a, a decent gamer score, so let's see what's up here. Wait, Spooky Sugar? Oh, never mind. He doesn't have that much, but he's got the. <laughs> this is like as, as basic as your avatar gets. We got Brooke, no messenger bio, but last played Halo 4 in 2017, Batman Arkham City back in 2014, the digital game on the console. Um, let's check out the next profile now. All right, Wolf of Parchment had the most gamer score. He had 9,000 here. He's got the camo pants, the fingerless gloves, Black Ops 2 in 2016, and that was the last game. Advanced Warfare, we also saw that on the console. And then scrolling all the way back, it was first played in 2011, so 2011 to 2016, not too long of a play history. But uh, man, let's check and make sure our family settings are not turned on here. They're not cool. So this console is good to go. I got a 250 gig hard drive with some free games. Gotta love the free games. But guys, this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale on my website called jrobgaming.com, so go check it out. But let's move on to the next console now. Now next up we have a random Wii U console which is very beat up and this thing is filthy man. Like look at the inside of those vents. Ooh baby. But let's plug it in and see if it works. Oh, 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 oh. I just plugged it in. It's got a white light there. That means there's a, get, a disc inside of the inside the disc drive. Nice, all right, let's see if it turns on. Got power, now let's see what kind of game is inside. Something good maybe, something good. What just happened? Oh my, <laughs> the power supply just unplugged itself. Awesome. Let's try that again. Yes. Yes, new Super Mario Bros. It's not, it's not even a Wii U game. It's just straight up a Wii game. They were playing on the Wii U. Dude, that is awesome. Let's go. And of course, I have a gamepad here, which didn't come with a lot. It's just my own gamepad. And booted straight up. Dude, legendary. Oh, yeah, we got some users. So we got 
Martin and we got Stella. Let's start with Martin here and see. Oh, what? <laughs> Wait, I got to put in a password to even use the profile? What? Okay, well, at least I can use this other one. Let's see what kind of stuff is going on with this uh, console though. All right, scroll on to, <laughs> wait, dude, this person just made a million folders? Great. <laughs> yes, here we go, we got games. Okay, so I was going through all the fold folders and most of them had nothing, except this one games folder it has Super Mario 3D World and Nintendo Land, which should be digital games here. Let's see if they even boot up. Oh, it's so clutch, dude, here it is, it's working. I'm not surprised at all because I think there was a bundle that came with both Super Mario 3D World and Nintendo Land. So here's another folder that has a few things. We'll go up, open up the Mii Maker and see if they've got any interesting Miis. So we got like Stella, Martin, Lily, Keely. We actually got this one down here that looks kind of like me. And it straight up called Dummy. Dude, I ain't no dummy. Come on, man. That's messed up. <laughs> this guy's got the super wide eyes. The, the poses here are actually pretty funny. But, uh, oh, I can change directions too. Yeah, everybody face the wall. You're all in timeout. Wait, <laughs> pee pants. <laughs> That's hilarious. But next up, we can check the daily log. And I guess that should tell us when we last played or when this console was last played. So let's check it out. Oh, that's so nice. On the Wii U, you can actually just press the trigger and it'll take you to the last time played. So this person had, it was 2018 when they last played. They played Minecraft for eight hours, Super Mario World for three hours, and Mario Kart for half an hour, and Peanuts Movie for four minutes. Dude, what a day. Actually, hold on, that's not a day, that's a month. Wait, wait, let me click on that. Oh, there it is on the screen. But well, still, actually, you can see on the screen that they played for five hours on the first and then it kind of just slowly progressed and that was, that was that. And actually, yeah, you can scroll through here and see every month Minecraft was by far the most played game. Actually, this month was Lego Marvel Avengers, but every other month is Minecraft. But that's just for Stella, I think. I, I wish I could see this other guy on the on the console, but I don't think it'll let me unless I know the password, which is strange that I can't even log in locally. Let me, let me try one more time. Yeah, so I still can't get on without putting a password in. But let's go ahead and test out a game. I got Lego City Undercover, and of course the disc is already popping out. Let's put it in and make sure it works. And oh yeah, there we are. It's working. Yeah, game's working. I'm gonna do one more thing though on this console. I wanna go back to the main menu and try to boot up the the old Wii menu. All right, so now we'll put the Wii game back in, make sure that works. And I don't know, I haven't used the Wii menu on a Wii U in forever, but let's go ahead and check out the Mii channel and see see what it shows up as. All right, well, never mind. The Miis on the Wii are completely separate from the Wii U, so it's I'd have to create a new Mii, which I'm not gonna do. But here back on the main menu, the disc is working clearly. So this console's good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale, so guys, go check it out if you're interested. And let's move on to the next console. All right, guys, next up, we got a couple of Wiis here. We got a white Wii, GameCube compatible, <laughs> for we <laughs> uh, no SD card in that one. Now this other one is extremely dirty and beat up. Oh, what is that on the front? Gross. Uh, nothing in the disk drive or nothing in the SD card, sorry. Let's go ahead and plug it in and see if it works. All right, starting with the one on the right, turn it on. Ooh, we got a free game inside. Let's go ahead and eject. We got, oh. This is not real. I am speechless. This game goes for $152 loose. That means if I had the case, this game would go for $200. That, that is ridiculous. Now, the other problem, the problem we're having here is that, that it's not showing up on the screen, but oh no. What is, wait, what is going on? Dang, guys, the, uh, that did not work. I swapped out AV cable, still the same issue. And I can see Super Mario Bros. there. Dude, there's, there's a lot of games on here. Oh man, I gotta, I gotta fix this. This is actually, I've gone through over 100 Wii consoles in the last few months, and this is the first Wii I've seen that actually has an issue outputting video but man this is another one of these consoles that will have to be put to the side to fix at the end of this series because i gotta do some research into how to fix that issue uh let's go ahead and try this other console out and I, man i really hope this game works all right now for this extremely dirty wii turn it on there's a game inside what's in it <laughs> another gamecube game what is hold on what is this oh it's just naruto Cry, Cry. i mean any gamecube game though is worth something uh let me let me look this up this one's not that much it's 10 bucks but i mean it's 10 bucks i didn't have before and the disc looks really scratched up now this one is actually showing up on the screen so let's go ahead and boot it all the way up and see what it do wait <laughs> this one's got a photo <laughs> i can't show it but it's 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 not i mean it's funny but it's also at the same time like pda I, i'll leave it that way <laughs> but but guys we got games on here as well super mario bros we got sonic the hedgehog We've got Legend of Zelda. We got the free game here. We got, we got dude, we gotta try out Pokemon XD, please. I really hope this game works. This is unreal. Like, did these two come as a package deal? Like, I just picked these up randomly from the lot. And how did I come with two, two consoles in a row with GameCube games and downloaded games? Unreal. I don't know, man. Let's, let's boot up this, uh, this GameCube game and hope it works. So this is strange. I just booted up the game and it has this faint warning health and safety. It looks like when you boot up the Wii for the first time, but the GameCube game, GameCube controller won't do anything. Wii controller won't do anything. What what is going on here? Oh, the GameCube controllers are the GameCube controller ports are filthy. I don't even know if those are working. Game is working, boys. Let's oh, let's go. Mm. Mm. 
It's motivation. I, it is unreal that somebody left Pokemon XD in their old Wii. I can just see somebody watching this video right now, seeing their old Wii and just punching the wall. Like, oh man, that's, that's tragic for them, but I'll take it, dude. Let's go ahead and eject it. And let's, let's go ahead and explore the rest of this Wii and see what's up with it. I mean, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be really disappointed if there's not a lot of Miis here. There's not much going on there except for one Mii that I can't show you because it's just uh, not appropriate, I, I'd say. Uh, <laughs> come on, man. This Wii is kind of wild. Let me check out the console nickname. <laughs> that's, that's actually hilarious. Console nickname is console. Uh, last but not least, let's check out the last time this console was played. Here we go, February 2012. We've got some play. <laughs> that's another dude, I saw this in my one of my last videos where there's a there's a channel that has over or has 23 hours and 59 minutes of playtime and then you add another playtime and it ends up being over a full day of playtime in one day. Somebody told me that basically if you left if you started Netflix at let's say 10 a.m. yesterday and you ran it until 10 a.m. today, it would put 24 hours on today, plus, you know, this person probably played some more. So that, that I guess that makes sense. Not really. But anyways, guys, this combo of Wii here might be the most unreal thing I've ever seen from a Wii uh, in Texas Lowe's series or the Hampton Hall series. This one, we'll have to get this one fixed in a future video, and whew, I am excited to see what's on that console because there, I could, like, see some, f make out some faint stuff, and I saw a bunch of games downloaded. But guys, Pokemon XD, Gale of Darkness, whew, crazy. Let's go ahead and uh, move on to the next console. Oh, and this one will be cleaned up and listed down below for sale. This one, of course, will go in a future video, but let's see, yeah, let's move on now. Now, next up, we have a regular Wii, which surprisingly has a GameCube memory card inside of it. And dude, look, look at that dust line, or dirt line, actually. That's insane. This console itself is just filthy. But uh, let's go ahead and boot it up, see if it works. And whew, we got a free game, no SD card. That did not sound good, but we got Mario Kart, dude. Nice. The disc looks almost perfect. Okay, let's put it back in it. Yikes, that noise is not pleasant. Let's see if it works. <laughs> I mean, if it works, it works. I'm not gonna touch it. It's not making the best sound. Well, the game works. All right, I will take it. Nothing else much special here on the main cha the main page. We got our Mario Kart channel and stuff, but uh, let's go ahead and check out a few things here. So first we're gonna pop in here and look at the console nickname, and dude, I gotta, I gotta take the disc out. It's annoying me how loud that is. JD's Wii. All right, so I guess whoever played this was named JD. I expect to see a me named JD. Now next up, let's go check out this memory card and see what's on it. All right, we got Madden 05. Dude, I actually played Madden 05 a good bit back in the day. NASCAR Thunder 03 and MV... Dude, these are like... I'm not going to lie. These are like my three favorite games from 2003 to 2005. I was huge into sports right then. And Madden NFL 05, I played on my friend's GameCube. I played NASCAR Thunder 2003 on my friend's GameCube. I played MVP Baseball on my PS2, but wouldn't it be hilarious if this was, this was my friend's GameCube from back when I was like 10 years old, eight years old, whatever it was. Let's go check out the Mii channel. Wait, what? A Mii sent by Moore has arrived. I have never seen this. Oh, that's amazing. Somebody, wow, nobody's booted up the Mii. First of all, why is it so blindingly, blindingly white? And that's amazing. I think somebody sent this Wii over, or they sent this Mii over from the, the Check Me Out channel and just had never opened up the Mii channel since then. And, dude, why, wait, why is this so blown out? We got JD, of course, yeah, there's JD, JM, Chuck. Oh, it's Chuck Norris, <laughs> that's hilarious. We got Dan, Emily, and that's about it. Dude, this, this is straight up blown out. Let me go check the Wii settings real quick. Back here on the home page, I think it actually looks worse than it did before. I turned off burn-in screen reduction. I don't know what that would do to fix this, but I also uh, changed it to widescreen. Now, I, I'm not sure what the issue is here. I actually haven't looked into it, but I've gotten a handful of comments because I've had this same issue on previous Wii's. Uh, I had a couple comments that say it was bad capacitors. Another person told me that it was just a setting on the Wii. Somebody else told me it was bad AV cables, although I've swapped out AV cables, and this is the same AV cable I actually use for all the Wii's, and most of them work. So let me know down below if you know anything about that. But let's go ahead and check out when the last time this console was played. All right, December 2014, we've got... <laughs> This looks like one of those times when somebody <laughs> just turned on the console and connected to the internet for the first time in forever. And then the next day we got some play data. Guitar Hero 5, that was it for this week. Actually, hold on, one more day. Guitar Hero World Tour, nice. So, so it was after that that they said goodbye to this Wii and took, to, took it to goodwill, I guess. But I mean, this console does work. It's got a weird screen and the disk drive is really loud, but it works. But I don't know, free Mario Kart, I'll take it. But I'll go ahead and throw this console into the pile of consoles we'll fix at the end of the series. But let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we've got a PS3 Slim. I already got it plugged in. Let's go ahead and turn it on. It's got life, no free games. Oh yeah, it's booted up. All right, let's start and see what profiles we got on here. We got 
We got a lot of stuff on here. You got EJ, EJ Money 757, User 1, KJ, a bunch of J's. Let's start and see what system software we're on and how many gigs we got. All right, 4.86 and 120 gigs, so probably played somewhat recently. Let's go ahead and see what's downloaded here. No games downloaded, but we can check out the Save Data Utility. Last played YouTube in 2021, and then Call of Duty Ghost in 2015. I'm checking out the message box, dude. Everybody has, <laughs> hi babes, you there? Oh, I'm supposed to be as this guy's girlfriend. That's, <laughs> that's hilarious. <laughs> so it's not a whole lot there. A couple friend requests and some sus, sus messages. But this guy didn't send anything other than friend request. That was funny. Let's go ahead and put a game in and see if it works. Oh, huh? oh, there it goes. Wait, what? Oh no! Dude, this goes halfway in. Are you kidding me? Now it's straight up st crap. Whoa, 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 whoa! Stop, 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 stop! No, no, stop! Oh my goodness! Did you guys hear that? That was very suspicious. I want to risk it. I'm gonna put it in one more time. I'm speechless. I have never heard a PS3 disk drive make that noise. It sounded like an engine revving with a combination of, I can't explain it, that was, that was strange. All right, let's go ahead and check out these other profiles and we'll, we'll come back to that. All right, I got KJ last up and yeah, more YouTube. Oh, this guy's actually got some games though. GTA 5, Call of Duty Ghosts, Last of Us, nice. Uncharted, oh, Red Dead? Dude, let's go, my man. All right, let's check out the message box. Oh my gosh, look at all the, look at all the received messages. This is like, this has gotta be thousands. Most of them appeared to be, wait, what? Oh, unused balance. Most of them appear to be just invites. Lobby and min, <laughs> what? What does that even mean? All right, not much going on there. Let's see if this guy sent anything. Uh, not much. It's, it's actually amazing how many profiles I've been through on these PS3s that have tons and tons of received messages, but barely any sent messages. It feels strange to me, and a lot of the received messages actually seem to be like conversations. So I'm not sure what's going on there. I don't know if it's not keeping all the sent messages here or if I'm missing something. Yeah, I'm not sure exactly, but interesting. This console is clearly not working. Uh, this is one where I would open this up if it was just a disk drive, like pulling an issue and it could probably fix that. But this is an issue where I probably need some replacement parts and I'm not gonna have those by the time this video needs to go live. So we'll push this to one of the repair videos at the end of the series. Uh, but yeah, that was the worst noise I've ever heard in my life. But guys, let's go ahead and move on to the next console. So next up, we got a 360 Slim, and I already know this one has no hard drive because it's just uh, an empty bay there. A warranty seal is intact. Console actually looks pretty good itself, but let's plug it in, see if it works. All right, let's turn it on. We got power. Do we have a game inside? Nope, no game. Oh yeah, boot it up. All right, we got nothing at all. Wait, does this, does this even have any memory built in? Uh, no. Wow, okay, great. It's the rare console that used to have a hard drive and somebody took it out. Let's put a game in and see if it works. Well, yeah, that's not gonna work. <laughs> Unrecognized disk, status code, okay. Yeah, that's not good. All right, well, this console doesn't work. Guess we got another console to throw into the, the last few episodes where we fixed consoles. I wanna call it easy fix. Probably needs a, either needs a laser swap. Actually, from that noise, it probably needs a motor swap or a greased up rail, something, some sort of combination of that. But no wonder somebody took the hard drive out. It just stopped reading games, so they took the hard drive out, put it in a new console, and started playing playing there. But yeah, this console's not good. We'll put it in the stack to fix later. And then, uh, yeah, let's move on to the next console. <laughs> all right, guys, so next up we got three Wii's, one white, two black. They're all GameCube compatible. Let me check the SD cards. None, nope, none available. But let's go ahead and start right to left and plug them in, see if they work. All right, let's turn this first one on. We got Got a free game, what do you know, man? Wii Sports, the classic, it's kind of scratched up, but man, in my experience, Wii Sports will work no matter what, so let's go. Wait, hold on, oh, dude, we got games. These are not just old games, we got Uno, we got Tetris Party, we got Monster Hunter, oh, that's Nintendo channel, Never mind. Check me out, channel. Wait, hold on, nice. That is awesome, what is this Happy Holidays Christmas? Why is my arm so far back? I gotta fix this sensor bar. And while we're at it, we'll check out the console nickname, Ace. Yeah, that's a pretty good nickname. Now let's go back and check out that holidays thing. <laughs> this is actually kind of funny. You can make a card. Card, wait, wait, we have card album? So we can see some old cards made. Yes. Oh, one card, that's it? So you can select your tree, your frame, your stickers, your music. This is so random, but this is actually a really neat idea that you could, I guess back in the day when you could actually use internet on the Wii, you could make cards so like Christmas cards on here and send them to your friends. That's a genius idea. Genius, I tell you. And yeah, as you can see, Wii Sports is working. Let's go ahead and check out the Me channel and see what's going on there. All right, we've got Ace and Buddy made by God. God himself, wow, okay. And of course, last but not least here, we'll check out the last time this console was played. All right, February, February 2014, we've got some play data, Netflix for the entire day, and that was it. 
awesome. Well, this console is good to go. It'll be listed down below for sale. Let's go ahead and move on to this one right here. All right, so let's turn this one on. We got power and dude, another free game. Are you serious? What's in here? We play. All right, we play. We can calm down a bit because we play is like a three dollar game, but it's still a it's still a great game, fun game. Let's go ahead and boot up the console and see if there's any other freebies on here. Got all the channels. We got we play. Let's check out the me channel first and see what's up there. <laughs> dude, one me. Is this a joke? Keith. And I mean, Keith even played a handful of games. Wii Sports, Wii Play, Mario Kart. How do you play all these games and only have one me? How much would I bet the console nickname is Keith Johnson? Must have been, his name must have been Keith Johnson. Honestly, I'm not even gonna bother checking the last time this thing was played because it's probably played like one time back in 2012. But uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the, uh, the unthinkable here, not even check the last time this console was played. So let's eject this game. This console, I mean, it's good to go. It's working. Listed down below for sale. And last but not least, let's move on to this console right here. All right, three, two, one, power. Another free game. Are you kidding me? Let's see what's inside. Another copy of Wii Sports. Dude, this is unreal. I, I, I shouldn't be surprised at this point, but like, dude, the number of games I find in Wii consoles is just ridiculously high. And now booting up, it almost looks exactly the same as the last Wii. We got all the standard channels. Let's just start it out strong here with the, the Mii channel. You can see Wii Sports is loading up. Let's start with the Mii channel and see what's on it. Hopefully there's more than Wii one this time. <laughs> what? Heather made by Heather. How do I keep, dude, this is, this is blowing my mind. How am I coming across these consoles, like one after another that are so similar? And, and, and like, trust me guys, when I picked these consoles up, they were like, this console was on the top of the lot. This one was like on the bottom of the lot. They weren't like bundled in a bag or a box or anything. They were just happened to be in the same lot of 120 consoles. Now console nickname, Heather, surprise, surprise. I bet if we go back, Heather has only played Wii Sports, but let's check. Oh, we got a handful, Wii Fit Plus, EA Sports Active, Wii Sports Resort, Wii Sports Netflix. Not horrible. Let's check out the last time Heather played. All right, here we are, August 2015. We got a message. I clicked on the wrong date. Let me go back, 22nd. And we've got a bunch of messages, but no play data. So this is one of those times where the person boots up, connects to the internet, and then doesn't actually play. <laughs> here we go, June 2010. We got some play data. Let's check it out. Me Channel, Wii Sports. And that's it. So that was, that's crazy. 20, 2010, man. Thanks for watching, guys. Hope you enjoyed this video. This was no words to describe this haul in this video. Remember, guys, Hampton Hall will have videos every Wednesday, Friday, and Sunday throughout December. So check them out. And thanks for watching, guys. And I'll see you next time.